So yeah. after this, we're probably going to be hobbling out. Yeah. It's like thick almost. Yeah. So good. You've got to try some. <laughs> Rum and coke would go really well together. Like, is it rude to get seconds? I'm having a great night. The dog will not leave us alone. Food tours are absolute essentials, and that is why whenever I travel, I always join one. So today we have joined Delvin from the other tour, St. Lucia, to do exactly that. We're gonna be tasting some local foods, local dishes at the most traditional places. So our first stop is gonna be doing exactly that. Come on, let's go. So we've got some... Fry bakes, salt fish, and some salad. Lovely. We are British, so we appreciate a good set of oh, wow. tea. Yeah. yeah. Okay. This isn't any normal tea. This is actually cocoa tea, and that is because right. it is made by 100% Cocoa beans, 100% chocolate. It is mixed with some spices to give it a unique flavor. That's right. And this is what they drink in St. Lucia. When you add a sugar in there, yeah. it becomes the a hot no, Yeah. It, it you can really taste Ooh, all the flavors. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's like thick almost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, that's right. It's, yeah, it is. It's like a hot chocolate, but it's not got that sweetness. Yeah. Definitely get used to that. Yeah, I think that might be the new drink of the trip. Yeah. First sip is like, well, okay. And then the more you, yeah, yeah. yeah. The more you delve in. Did you like that? Well. Nobody no, got that? Love it, mate. I said, the more that you delve in. So I liked it the way it was, but I have been advised we add some sugar. Give it a quick stir. I mean, it sweetens it. It makes it more hot chocolatey. It's thick, it's like creamy. Um, I love it. We are starting with a very traditional Creole breakfast. We've got these lovely fried buns here, all right? Cooked by this lovely lady over here, so you know it's really <laughs> traditional stuff. And we add that in to the bun just like that with a little bit of salad. Close that up like that. And then you've got yourself a lovely Creole breakfast. Let's have a taste. Oh, yeah, so flavoursome, so good. You gotta try some. Try some. You gotta come here and try some. It's the best thing I've tried this holiday. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> I mean, that is saying something. Thank you guys so much. It's You're been so honestly welcome. amazing. So so good. These Thank next spots you. have a lot of living up to to do. <laughs> Let's head on. So next stop on the tour, we have come to the rum distillers because St. Lucia has 22 rums that are brewed here. So after this, we're probably going to be hobbling out. I'm very excited for it. So the rums are here waiting for us, but I believe we're going to go for a tour first. Through here. Tell you what, you can really smell the rum here. Part of the tour has taken us to the fermentation rooms and as you can see right here we have yeast, we have water and molasses and it smells so so good here. What do you think? Yeah. Like that smell? I feel drunk off the fumes a bit to be honest. Doesn't Why? surprise me. So welcome into our distillery. So we are currently in the distillery which is where the rum actually gets its flavour. To get the flavour you either add it into a copper barrel like so, or a stainless steel barrel. They're then added to oak barrels where more flavor comes into the rum. Are you ready to try some? He's ready to try some. I'm ready to try some. It's the highlight. Let's do it. So there are two sorts of genres of music here in St. Lucia. One of them being soko music, which is more talking about rum, carnival, more fun. But then you've also got calypso, which has more of a political message. And this is how they dress when they perform. And government's worst nightmare. So mid-July is carnival, and this is carnival room. We are going to miss that, unfortunately. But this is essentially what to expect. Everybody's dressed up, music, lots of fun. So we have come to the rum tasting section where there are 20 different samples to try. Are we going to do double figures? No. Let's <laughs> do double figures, come on. So we're starting over this area which has the Admiral Rodney which is the most expensive 
kind of rum. This has been aged for 15 years, 12 years, and then eight years. Now, the longer that it has been aged, the darker the rum, the higher the quality, the better the flavor, the more smooth it is, and easier to drink, but the lower the alcohol concentration. So that works for me. I think we're gonna be spending most of the time over in the most expensive area. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah? Mm. It's got like a caramel <laughs> smell. Okay. Let's just have a little swig of that. In the Caribbean, yeah, yeah. Did Admiral Rodney pack a punch? That packed a bit more than a punch. I can't speak. It's spicy. It's delicious, though. It really is good. I'm not really a spirit drinker. You're not a spirit guy, no. Is this good? No, I'm not scared. Yeah. Scared's not the scared. right word. He's not scared. Go on. Have a go on that. Not even a flinch. Not so, even a flinch. That's strong. All right, so rum number two. Here we go, 12 years. See how this differs. That is a lot smoother. I'm nervous. No, you gotta go, you gotta go, mate. A word other than strong. That one, look, I have no idea what I'm talking about. They all taste the same. <laughs> like, that's just the honest truth. I don't know my rum. Neither do I. I don't think either of us do. But it's a great experience. But what I will say, one to do. As you can tell, turn it up. I don't know what I'm saying. Let's move on to the eight years. See how that differs. <laughs> what was that? That's pathetic. I don't know what that. What, that was strong. <laughs> wow. So I'm gonna bore you again. Strong. <laughs> No other way about it. Just strong. <laughs> this is the uh, the strong. That's what I like to call this one. Chairman's Reserve, second highest quality after the uh, Admiral Rodney. Let's see how it differs in flavour, notes, and colour. It's darker. On to the next. Let's keep moving, mate. Let's keep moving. Yeah. Um. That's for you. No, so we will halve this one. That was the most stupid thing. <laughs> that face. You can't do that because it's a beautiful rum. No, 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 it is a beautiful rum, but I'm not an experienced spirit drinker. Which one is this? So that's the Chairman's Reserve. Yep. It's actually the best seller. Oh. So this is what you bring back to like friends and family. Looking for a gift idea, guys. It is this one. This is the known and loved rum. High quality. <laughs> Let's taste it. Are you having a spot? You have a go first. Is this the last? I uh, approve of this one. No. I don't know how to describe that. But you like it. I like it. That's what I know. I know I like it. And if I like it. And if you like it that much. I can give it a thumbs up like what you should give on this video. Don't be generous with the pouring. No. And try not to spill it. There you go. <laughs> Best one, that. As you go along the road, it gets better. That's kind of... It gets better. I'm not even kidding. The spiced rum. This one. The best one. In my opinion, strong, strong. it's Powerful. smooth, impactful, uh, drinkable. punchy, drinkable. Yeah, yeah, drinkable. So this is one that is recommended to mix in your Coca-Cola. Let's taste that. Let's see how it is. If I can get the lid on. Why well, should you like that? There's something about the cheaper it gets. <laughs> Where it gets, maybe? I don't know. It's good. I I'm liking it. It's got to be done. Look, I know it's not something you probably do, but I think rum and coke would go really well together. Yeah. So, try it. So we have made our way to the other end, but we've not been able to get through all of them. So we've said, let's just try one more. That's right. And you're telling us that the sorrel one, the Christmas drink. And we're in the middle of June. Right. <laughs> well, let's do it. Just a tiny bit. That's, there you go. Um, that is what it feels like how much alcohol you get when you order in bars in Manchester. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's your shot. Oh, I like that. Good shot. Sweet. That's Flavorsome, good, yeah. tasty, festive. <laughs> festive. <laughs> 
<laughs> so we've got the word careful being used now at this side of the... This, um, one, is, this one is like easy. This is like more like a woman's ring, though. That's why. I... Ah, okay. Well, yeah. Nick would like that one. <laughs> I can't use that. Yeah. Can't do that. <laughs> careful with the word. <laughs> what? That's not <laughs> careful. <laughs> Should've seen his face. <laughs> his face. Out of politics. Yeah, I think you should have asked first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's nice, yeah. Wow. That's not even like no, that's drinking, like that's drinking like alcohol. Yeah, yeah. That side's just a bit strong. Yeah. I think it's now time we move on. What do you think? Yeah, that's right. Time that's for the next stop. spot. Let's go. He's okay. joking. And for our next stop on the tour, Delvin, where are we going? This is my mum's house. Your mum's house? Yeah. What are we doing at your mum's house? We're doing a local dish. It's called a passe. A passe? Yeah, it's gonna be breadfruit with cod served very uniquely. She likes she likes to to it. Yeah. Fun. Breadfruit, cod, coconut milk, curry, and it is as local as it comes because we are having it from a local high. We look alike. Yeah. <laughs> I've never, well, ever, had, never ever had that. That's a big compliment for Nick, eh? Okay? Especially that. Yeah, especially that. You start with the breadfruit. Yeah. You want peppers, you could, oh, yeah. you could add the peppers on it. Because oh. it's West Indian pepper, but yeah, well, it's done in canary. No, in St. In Lucia. And gone. Here you go. What would you recommend, like, a, like that? Add that in, yeah. Good last. Breadfruit, curry, fish. Oh my god. Wow. Delvin's mom's the star of the show. <laughs> Big compliment, that says something. Oh, thank you so much. Right, so here it is. Really excited to try it. Um, breadfruit with a fish curry, cod. Ah, oh, so, so good. Perfect balance of spice, flavors. You can really taste the creaminess of the, the coconut with the spices. Oh. And the breadfruit. Normally I'd have a curry with rice, but actually the breadfruit goes really, really well with it. The cod has a perfect balance of saltiness whilst not being too overpowering. Oh, so delicious, so good. I could eat this all day. Cheers. <laughs> Guys, don't worry if you don't like rum. Delvin's got you covered. Some pitons. Mm. Okay, I've just finished my uh, portion. I'm just a bit like, is it? Rude to get seconds. Well, on one hand it shows that you enjoyed it. On the other, it's deemed rude in many countries across the world. So we'll ask permission. I think we should ask permission. Right, so here we have the Creole pots. The word Creole is like a style of living which is like practiced over here. It's very, very traditional. And yeah, we're getting a little feel for that today by eating Creole food. I definitely need some more of that because the food here on this tour full stop has just been a highlight of this trip altogether it's so so good get some more of that fish curry chili sauce as well now the two languages that are spoken on the island of saint lucia are english and patois and the patois is a combination of african french and spanish and the word patois is used interchangeably with the word creole but creole is more considered a style of living and you know more of a culture starting with the food so, so there's this fruit called sour soap or sweet soap on the tree and it's now on the plate yeah. one thing i'm definitely loving about this tour so far is every stop that we've made is offering something completely different and we're now tasting fruit as well which is from the garden the sour soap tree right there so fruity so juicy so soft unbelievable if you like food you're gonna get it on this tour and make sure if you want to book this tour the link to do so will be in the video description so go check it out so for the next part of the tour we're moving from this car into silvio's car because we're going to a farm let's go in and in the back nick enjoying it yeah, yeah it's nice. a little bit of a roller coaster uh, I'll tell you what it is this tree is a nutmeg tree and you can see there's actually a nutmeg there on the tree and when that falls down within it it will open naturally and you'll get that beautiful that beautiful spice that you can put within your rum punches I 
Now we're here in Grand Eden Estate, which is very famous for so many different birds that you can actually see here. There's three different types of hummingbirds. We have just seen one, but directly behind me, we've got a cashew tree with the cashew nuts on them. And today we are going to be roasting our own cashew nuts. So I'm very excited for that. Let's keep going. Directly above me is what they call the canoe tree, which was the original shampoo and conditioner on the island, because if you rub it together whilst showering, it does create a nice foam and it's good for washing your hair with. Got a pineapple as well. And I can remember that it takes about two years for a pineapple to grow all the way until it is ripe to be harvested. And I know that because I visited the Azores. If you haven't seen the Azores travel guide, you can click that card up there. Great video. Fresh guava, straight from the tree. Look at that, looks beautiful. Oh, wow. Right. It's got so much more flavor than any guava I've had before. Wow. Chili coconut. So you first drink the water, mm. after enjoying the water, you get to enjoy the jelly inside. Mm. It's very resourceful how you use the um, spoon. the actual the actual coconut itself as a spoon to scoop out the jelly and then eat it. And now we're trying actual sugar cane. I'm assuming we're just going to take a piece off and then just chew on it. There you go. So just chew on that. Yeah. That literally just tastes like sugar. Once I got my head around how to actually eat it, yeah, no, it's really good. <laughs> doesn't get fresher than this and it also doesn't get better than this all right so we've got a uh, fresh strawberry wow that has got the most flavor that I've ever experienced in my entire life how juicy is that <laughs> strawberries here and peanuts now the peanut is beneath the ground. Yeah. So I have to dig it, dig to get the peanut. Yeah, I'm seeing a peanut there. Yeah. Wow. Actual peanuts. I never knew that's actually where a peanut came from. Let's take just, it out and it. have a taste. Wow. Is that it's good? So much fresher than the peanuts we get back home. Yeah. Have you tried? Yeah. What it looks like. You've seen a peanut before, but you've never seen it that fresh before. Oh, it's got a peanut flavour, but it's a lot yeah. more moist. Juicier, yeah, weirdly. It's not that dry. Mm. Wow, the way that that just slices straight off. Does that mean it's good? Yeah. Taken a fresh papaya straight from the tree. First step is just slicing it open, removing those seeds, and you get beautiful, fresh, succulent looking papaya. I just love how on this tour, we are walking through a farm and just picking things up off the floor, off the trees, and just eating them. The next part of the tour, we're gonna play a little game of Bugs Bunny where we locate a carrot, fresh, wash the carrot, eat the carrot, and then feed the carrot to the little bunnies in the distance. You got a carrot straight out of the ground, mate. Yeah, this one is for you, Mark. Oh, that's a bit hairy, isn't it? All right. Okay. What's the data? Sweet and juicy. Sweet. Yeah, it is absolutely sweet. Sweet. To taste the carrot that we've just taken out of the ground, washed it pretty briefly. Um, smells like a carrot. Here we go. Oh, it is a bit sweet. I told you. <laughs> not a big fan of carrots. Too. You're not the biggest fan of carrots, no. No, but I'm sure it's good. <laughs> You're sure it's good. Possibly the cutest part of the tour, which involves us feeding the bunny rabbits. I'm feeding all four at once. We've got a really good day for it. Super hot, sunny weather. Beautiful light breeze as well, keeping us cool. I'm just excited for the next part. Cocoa pod, we locally call it the jungle emanin. Used to make the cocoa stick. You had the tea off this morning. Who knew that's what So you could just right. suck on the pod yeah. and, and then you spit it out. Seven and a half times, pal. Mm -hmm. No, it's not a tap. 
Oh, it is nice. Yeah. This is how it starts. Just like that. So sweet. Honestly, I think I might prefer this to chocolate. Absolutely divine. Cashew nut. Nice. We're gonna roast this and enjoy the local way. So for the next part of the tour, we're actually roasting our own cashew nuts. And the reason that you've got to do this is because you've got to extract those oils to make it ready to be eaten. And you can actually hear it pop, similar to how popcorn does. Up on the head. I'm gonna taste it as well. Drop the rest of it, but there's something so rewarding about doing that. That was incredible. And this is why they're so expensive, because one of those big cashews there that we just cooked creates just one cashew. Oh. And that's where it gets its price tag from. You can only really experience it by trying it super fresh when it's made like this. It is nothing like you get from the supermarket. It just, do you know what? It tastes like popcorn. It tastes like popcorn. Yeah, that that's that how, that's how good it is. Popcorn, yeah. It tastes like freshly cooked Pop popcorn. Sauce. What have you got for us there? You're making your own rum. Spiced rum. Spiced rum. I do like the spiced rum. I'm ready for the spiced rum. So what spices have you put in there? Cinnamon, shadow bini, bay leaf, calca. There's a lot of different herbs in there. Yeah. And how do you turn it into the rum? What do you add? Wet, wet rum. Come in for three weeks. And you leave it for three weeks. Oh, there's honey in there as well. The homemade stuff. It smells so nice. It's nice. Yeah, yeah. Man. Mm. Oh, wow. So ginger in there. Give it a taste. All right, dude, yeah. I could just sit and drink this. Now I understand what you meant when you said that you could just sit down and just sip it. Before the tour finishes, we are learning a little bit of Creole. And that is tout bagay bon. And that means Everything good. Everything good. And that is the end of Grand Eden Estate. Here we go. Thank you so much. It's been yes, incredible. Um, two bad guy. Bon. All right. Thank you, brother. I'll see you soon. Okay. got one more and that is more rum tasting because of course this is the food and rum tour. They've got everything from mango, they've got passion fruit, cashew nut, peanut, various different kinds of rum including coffee and chocolates. And yeah, I'm really excited to try the cherry, I think. Sweet, love it. Sweet. I love a sweet rum. Mango. For the tropical. And guys, I have just found out the length of time that it takes to make these rums. They're in these containers for up to two to three years. But if we look at the spice rums in the corner, those ones, 15 years. That is the end of the other food tour and what an amazing day we have had trying some incredible foods, drinking some amazing runs. I feel like I've done it all. Delvin, it has been an amazing experience, yeah, man. man. Thank you so much. No problem, man. Guys, if you want to book this tour, the link to do so will be in the video description below. I can highly recommend that you do so. But I think that's where we're going to end this one. So yeah. let's head out. <laughs> we'll see you later. Enjoy. See you soon. <laughs> Guys, I thought that was the end of today's tour, but I've just got down to the entertainment area at the hotel and they've got fire dancers, they've got like limbo, like everybody's getting involved. It's such a vibe here. And it's so good that the hotel has this kind of entertainment on every single evening by the bar, by the pizza area. It's a lot of fun. I'm having a great night. And so we have done the most essential thing that you've got to do on a Friday night. And that is come to Gros LA Friday Fish Fry. And that's what we're doing right now. But we've also been followed by a dog that won't leave us alone. Okay, it seems we no longer have a dog. The dog has left us. 
but I'm starving, so let's go find some food. So Delvin today did recommend that we come to Duke's at the end of the fish fry. We found it, we looked for the smoke. Q obviously indicates that the food's good. It's a proper fish fry. They've got the fish on the grills, and we've got an order, two of them. $10 each, 10 US dollars, and it smells amazing. I'm gonna taste it now. Oh my lord, wow, this is actually unbelievable. Is it not? No, it's this not. is like so, so good, guys. You have to queue up for it. It's a big queue but it is so, so worth it. And on that note, that is where I'm going to wrap up today's video. If you guys have enjoyed it, what they need to do, hit the like button, hit the thumbs up button. Yeah, exactly, and hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed, and the bell notification, so you get notified for the weekly uploads. But as always, I'll see you in the next one. We left the fish fry about 20 minutes ago and we've been followed by the same dog who found us in the fish fry, I got hiccups, and it won't leave us alone. Like, what do we do? I do not know what to do. Like, when we get to the hotel, it's just gonna follow us there. So what do I do when they ask, why have you got a dog with you? Just let it come up in the elevator and get in our bed. Oh, my bed, not our bed, sorry. Oh, that sounded odd. We have, we have separate beds.